In a recent statement on his Truth Social platform, former President Donald Trump has sounded an alarm about Iran's potential significant actions, linking them to the policies of President Joe Biden. Trump, echoing his unsubstantiated claims of widespread voter fraud in the 2020 election, asserted that the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and Iran's recent involvement are a consequence of a rigged and stolen election. Trump emphasized that the attack on Israel by Iran-backed group Hamas, which occurred on October 7, would not have transpired without the alleged election interference. The former president accused Biden of incompetence and blamed his administration for the escalating death toll and destruction in the region. Trump contended that peace, achieved through his administration's Abraham Accords, has been disrupted under Biden's leadership. The Abraham Accords, brokered during Trump's tenure, aimed to normalize relations between Israel and Arab nations. While the agreements received criticism for not easing Israeli-Palestinian tensions, Trump asserted their role in maintaining regional peace. Notably, Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, faced scrutiny for potential personal gain from his involvement in Middle East diplomacy. Trump and fellow Republicans have criticized the Biden administration's prisoner exchange deal with Iran, involving the release of frozen funds. The administration clarified that Iran had not accessed the funds, and steps were taken to prevent access amid the Israel-Palestine conflict. Despite Iran denying involvement in the Israel attack, Trump's comments praising Hezbollah, a group linked to Iran, drew criticism. Israeli officials accused Trump of spreading anti-Israel propaganda, questioning his reliability as an ally. As tensions persist in the Middle East, Trump's assertions add a political dimension to the complex geopolitical situation. The evolving developments will continue to be scrutinized, impacting diplomatic relations and influencing public perceptions.